Uh, today has been an almost perfect day. I just sat around and listened to the sounds of the loud ass animals surrounding me. Looked at the village off in the distance, and now I'm getting to see this beautiful sunset. Yep. It was almost perfect except for one thing the pool has no fucking water. Ah, oh, the tiny things in life. It could have been perfect just if the pool had water, so I. Nothing to swim in. Well, guess I'll head on my way up. What does this do? Is this a button? What's that? I heard something. What? The pool is water now. What is this? Hold on a second. What? Was it this button? No way. Hold on. Let me see this. Oh, wow. What? So I could have had water all day today? Well, that's kind of annoying that it's my own dumb fault for not looking around for a button. I was wondering why we had a pool with no water. That's pretty cool. A pool that fills and empties itself? Wow, that's pretty nifty. Oh, and you can't even see it in the sea. That's pretty cool. At least I know for next time I'll come. Guys, it's that random YouTuber here, and we are here today to build a redstone contraption that I created. It is a, uh, as you saw from the skit, which we did right over there, it is a self-emptying and refilling pool. Um, I'm pretty proud of the uh, redstone for this. Um, it's definitely, definitely one of my better builds. Um, I felt like I did a pretty good job of compacting it, and. Some of them, obviously some of the circuits were required to be long, like this one right here, because you had to give the water time to turn solid so it wouldn't be a flowing current. Alrighty, so uh, let's uh, hop on over and uh, get to building this. Alright guys, so we're going to want to start with a 12 by 8 platform. We are going to want to start on the, so we're going to go 3 blocks in, and 4 blocks up, right here. We're going to want to place our first block, then we're going to want to run it seven along, like so, and so we'll check that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right, perfect, then we're going to want to branch a block out on, on each side, like so, and run that down along seven as well, like this. Alrighty, and then we're going to want to take a redstone repeater and stick it inside facing the wall here. And then run redstone across all these and then torches on top of all these blocks. Now we're going to want to place blocks on top of all the torches, like so. And then on top of these blocks we're going to put torches on both sides and on the top of it. Them. Like so and then after you've done that you were simply gonna put blocks on top of all the torches that are hanging off the edges that and like this Alrighty. so that is the beginning part and we're gonna place sticky pistons Ooh, gotta get a little higher sticky pistons across the top of all this and top of all this and then we're gonna lay them right to the center like so so now, if I power this, should extend all of them. Great. And when I get rid of it, alrighty, cool. And this is going to be the very bottom of your pool. So this is going to be the closing sequence, the part that lifts up and empties the water. So this is where you're going to want to build the bottom of your pool. So I'm going to be doing, a, in this texture pack, especially light blue stained clay. kind of reminds me of the pool I used to have in my backyard. So, especially when you have the water in it, like how the colors sit. Then I'm going to stick some glowstone in here just because I uh, like how the water gets lit up at night. Kind of like having a light in your pool. So we're going to hop on over to the next part. Alright, as you see here, we've got all of our materials needed. Uh, building block, redstone, repeater, torch, sticky piston, and whatever block you want to use for the inner edges of your pool. Like the walls of your pool. So these blocks are going to be going right here. So that's what these blocks are going to look like. They're going to be wrapped around their surrounding. So that'll be where your building block goes. And what we're going to do is we're going to place sticky pistons facing up all along this edge. And then I'm going to repeat the same thing on this side. Then we're going to take a block, 
extend it out and drop it down by one and out this way by one. Don't drag it out. Now we're going to run Living these like along the sticky pistons and do the same thing for this side. That block there. Alrighty, now we're going to run these all the way down. Do the same thing right here. Alright, now we are going to put redstone repeaters facing inwards on all these sticky pistons. And do the same here, and then redstone across all of these blocks. We're almost finished. Now we're going to place two blocks out like this, and then zigzag them towards each other, like so. And then on this block, we will place a redstone torch, and this should power both sides. And now you'd stick your building block. Your block for your inside of your pool wall, right there. So, that is that part done. Look at that beautiful sunset. That is that part done, and now we are going to hop on over to the on and off of powering the circuits. So, we're going to start building the T-flip-flop. Alrighty, so we've got everything here that we need to build the T-flip-flop. So, what we're going to do is we're going to hop up. I believe we go to right here, and we hop out too. We should be right on line. Yes, sir. Alrighty, so you're going to go one up from the very last piston and pop out two blocks to right here. And on the face of this block, we're going to put a redstone torch that we're going to drop down. Place a redstone torch right here. Drop down again and drop one like that. And leave that block. We're going to put our redstone comparator facing this way on this block. We're going to run our redstone torch right here block on top of that and then you're gonna run these blocks all the way down here right up to the edge and then on this edge you're gonna have a sticky piston on the face facing downwards and then we are gonna run redstone repeaters running along these except for this one and stick a piece of redstone right there and that piston should power up we're gonna set all these to four ticks to give the water time to uh, fill up in the pool and become solid so you don't have uh, any flowing currents and that one can be set to two ticks, the rest have to be set to four, that is the fastest you can get to do it. Now we're going to drop down here on the face of this piston, we'll put a block. And we'll run blocks all the way out to here. We'll run redstone right along these. A block right here with a repeater on it. And then in front of that repeater, have that running into a block. You're going to drop down here. A redstone right here. And then curve it around these corners, still putting redstone on top of it. See, this is going to be running into a block with a redstone torch on the face. On top of that torch, another block with a redstone torch on it. Alrighty, perfect. So, with that being done, if I quickly pull out a button and set it on, this is going to be your input block. I should press this, they should. I forgot to put the flip flop in, silly me. <laughs> Let's get right to that. So, we're gonna hop out here. We are gonna put one uh, hopper facing right here. And we'll hop right up on this edge. Put, face that hopper into this hopper, like so. By shift clicking on it. And then we are gonna, woo! I guess fall to our death. come out one block so I can stand on it and place this hopper here facing into that one now we can break both these blocks underneath these and we can put if we shift again redstone on top of these unshift get inside the hopper place uh, I'm gonna stick just a piece of redstone you can put whatever inside just so it'll flip when you power it and now if we hit this switch should turn it off and when we hit it again these walls should go down and then come back up after a second there we go perfect so that's we, that's exactly what we want so now that we've got that done we are going to start building the closing circuit so when you go right here we are going to put redstone right here drop down out of this put a repeater coming out of this block we're going to run that into a block right here Come off to the side here. We're gonna run redstone right around this corner like this. There we go. And then in front of this block, we are going to stick another repeater on top of the one that we placed. Right there. We're 
we're gonna have that running into redstone right here, and then have that redstone go up and over. So that should be just like this. You're gonna wanna set this to four ticks. That is going to be running into a sticky piston with a block on its face. We are gonna then run from right into that circuit. So we'll place redstone here, a repeater running out right, right here. And that looks like it's about done, except for one thing. I'm gonna put a block right here just because this redstone's trying to attach to that redstone. I don't want to power it up through there. All that jazz. So when we press this, it should now power up. Yep. And that's your emptying. And then you've got your filling. Alrighty, so now that we've got all that done, we're simply going to put, use our blocks to build our pool. And I'm using cobblestone for the edges, a stone slab for kind of like the lip to cover where the water is going to be. You do need a water bucket and the inside of your pool edges. And that should be everything you need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a block along all of these pistons right here, right here and all of these. Then, on the edges out here, we go this way, the block here, just so I can run all the way down this edge. Like so, the block here, even though I'm gonna have to remove it, like that. And then, block here, block here. And then, here like this. And, run this all the way down this edge, and this one all the way down this edge. <coughs> I apologize. Now we're going to run, or put water in all of this. Water right here, and water in here. Ooh, you going to fill up? There we go. Alrighty. And then we're going to place stone slabs right here, right here. Get rid of this one. And here. Get rid of this one. And fill these all the way across. And these all the way across. And then we're going to place one right here just to keep the design going. Uh, pop out edge right here. I'm going to run them all the way down. This is this is obviously for aesthetic purposes. Uh, it's not really doing anything for the redstone. I put them on top of the water just so you can't see it. And it makes it look good. And this should place right here. Alrighty. And I'm going to change these over to... Uh, stone because this is like the sidewalk for your pool walking around it and I like the way the uh, oh, let me put a block right here so I can I like the way the stone looks so makes it easy got to be quick with it because otherwise the uh, water will flow out onto the redstone and there we go all right now that should be everything completed. If I press this button, it should empty. And this one should fill it. Hopefully the water becomes completely solid. Yes, yes it does. All right. And so, and then we close it. Ooh, I missed the button. Close it. There you go. There you have it. That is a self refilling and filling pool. Um, it's a nine high by eight wide and 12 long. Obviously, this, this is as compact as I could get it, but you guys could probably get it better. Um, but that's all I've got time for. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and comment down below any other redstone builds you might want to see me do. And that's all. I'm that random YouTuber, and I'm out of here. I'll say once to the bay side. I come alive when a light dies. Overcast when we inside. Eyes wide, lie twice. My advice don't mean shit tonight. Cause I've been driving though I can't see shit. And I've been lying through my teeth just to get the feeling right. And feel alright. So girl, just turn the lights down.